Hi guys. <laughs> this is the revision three about chapter three. Chapter three talk about the looping and timers. Looping and timers used to repeat a set of statements many times, which call it looping using for loop and do loop. And with the for looping or do looping, using the for next statement. The syntax of the for next statement used to repeating a certain code or some codes for a certain times. For used to start of the loop, but next, the end of the loop. Variable here, call it counter variable and has a started value and end value. The statements are repeated inside the loop until the counter value equals the end value. This example creates a new project that display numbers from 1 to 3 in a message box. The forms window will be as the following. This is the form designed by the, the visualbasic.net and this is the code use it. Dem m as integer 4 m equal 1 to 3 message box m. Next. This is the form design and after run the program, when press display, the number from 1 to 3 appeared the text box 1, 2, 3. When starting running the program. And each time, visual basic encounter the next statement. Increment the counter variable then compares the new counter value to the end value of the loop. I start running the program and I click the common button display the numbers from one to three. The statement inside the loop is written so that the value of variable m is placed side by side next to what already exists in the text box. This is done by the typing the concatenations operator and use the to join multiple strings into a single string. This is the end. Goodbye.